A wife turned widow, now an accused killer. It's the Chambers County murder case that captured the attention of people across the country. Sarah Hartsfield is charged with the murder of her husband, Joseph Hartsfield. But the reason her indictment has so many people interested is because of her complicated history. Reporter Bryce Newberry has spent the last several months unraveling that windy past. Bryce is here now with a first look at the investigative documentary, The Two Sides of Sarah. Good morning. Good morning, yeah. sir. I know you've been working very hard on this for the past few months. Let's start with the basics of this case. I know there are so many turns and, and, and changes along the way. You've mm -hmm. talked with a lot of people associated with Sarah. That's right. I mean, it's kind of one of those stories where one call has led to another, mm -hmm. and each time we're learning new things throughout this process. Uh, people who have different stories to share, a past with Sarah, and it's a lot of different conversations that have been required to kind of put together each piece of the puzzle. So we've talked to at least two dozen people throughout all of this. I mean, not all of them on camera, but right. at least two dozen just to get it all put together. And that doesn't even count, you know, the sheriff's offices, the courthouses that we've talked to, to kind of get the records and, and, and follow up on all of these things that we've heard about her. Yeah. And we're still really truly learning things almost every day. And the conversations that you're having with people, including Sarah herself, they, these conversations have brought you to different parts of the country. That's right. We have had to travel quite a bit for this. Uh, several trips across Texas to different places while we've been working on this. We've also taken a trip to the East Coast, to Sarah's hometown uh, in Missouri. And each time, again, all of these different people who we've met along the way, people who we've been able to talk to, sharing different things about Sarah. Um, and really, everyone has a different perspective. Yeah. Uh, they've known her some since she was in high school. and. We have a little preview of the documentary that's airing tonight to share with everyone this morning. Um, in the first two minutes, you can kind of see just how many people have a story to share about Sarah. She has a very mean, streak in her. You don't expect somebody you know to kill somebody. It takes a special kind of um, diabolical thinking to do that to other people. Things just weren't adding up. Deputies arrested 48-year-old Sarah Jean Hartsfield on Friday. Well, new at 5 o'clock, the Chambers County woman accused of killing her husband. Sarah Jean Hartsfield left a wake of exes behind her, two of them now dead. When she's done with somebody, she discards them, and you can't, they're people. Anytime anybody shows her that she's not in control, that she lashes out. is it when a military intelligence uh, person goes off the rails. But when they do, it's a train wreck. You know, it, it, it's ugly. She's hurt so many people, and it needs to stop. She's conniving. A black widow. She needs people to feed her ego. She just preys on others. No. That's not the Sarah I know. There's probably her inner self that she fights with and the outer self that she wants to portray. There were two sides, you know, you would think she was happy and everything was good and then no, not so much. He learned the other wrath side of Sarah. It's important to note, like you saw there, that Sarah has not been arrested or charged in connection with the death of any person other than her fifth husband, Joseph Hartsfield. And of course, like any defendant, she is presumed innocent until proven guilty. Bryce, how do you keep all of these people organized? You've talked to so many people. There are so many people that are part of Sarah's story. That's right. I mean, really, it's been kind of a matter of keeping them organized in terms of different years and different sections of her life. Uh, we've also, you know, had to kind of 
piece together the different people who fit together in, in each section and, and part of her life. Uh, you know, this time with this ex and this time with this ex and the children. So each person, and of course right. a lot of notes on all of this, I mean, double checking with everyone that we talk to to keep everything straight. I right. mean, there have been so many different characters uh, throughout the whole story. We're talking five husbands and at least two other men. Mm -hmm. So there's been a lot, and I know we're, we're desk mates in the newsroom, and so Bryce has been working, uh, when I say months, it's it's been months mm -hmm. on this. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, I'm really excited to see what this looks like. Um, what moment uh, stands out to you most with your reporting on this documentary? You know, Every single person, like I said, two dozen who have shared different stories, everyone kind of seems to have a wild allegation, something that they say happened to them when they knew Sarah, something that almost doesn't seem true. And so, of course, our job is to vet each one of those allegations. And so throughout that, we've been trying to do that every step of the way with each each story, each experience that we hear about. And, you know, that's been something that's difficult. And some of these cases, they happened, you know, in the 90s or in the mm -hmm. early 2000s. And finding a paper trail and actually being able to verify what the allegation is, that's been difficult. Either it wasn't investigated yeah. Yeah. or we're talking, you know, maybe uh, there just isn't a paper right. trail in some of these cases. You know, the, some of the sheriff's offices and courthouses that we've talked to, they've literally said we need to go into the basement right. and pull out a box where we think this record might be. You're and going back in time into rural communities that might not even have this technology today, let alone 10, 15, 20 years ago. That's absolutely true. I mean, you mentioned rural communities. That's another part of this. We're talking about a lot of places where she's lived in different counties, uh, different towns with only a few hundred people in them. So it's been challenging finding and coming up across, you know, all the documents needed to verify the allegations that we've heard. Bryce, thank you so much for waking up early to come in on the show to talk about this. We're really looking forward to it. Don't forget, you can watch the two sides of Sarah tonight at 630 exclusively right here on KPRC 2 Plus. Thank you. Thank you.